Hi everyone, welcome to the recording of today's uh, session in Space Engineers for uh, me and Darth Darthius. Uh, we're going to uh, continue where we left off today, uh, yesterday I should say. I was just uh, working on the front of the tug here because now that we've uh, cleared out all the space pirates, at least I think we have uh, in the area, we will be able to uh, go back up to space and check on all our assets up there. Do you want to say hello, Darth? We have. Hello. As for the uh, space pirate, there is one more that we knocked out the antenna on. Yeah. Correction, I knocked out the antenna with my fighter. I thought uh, so. Quite literally. And I know how to get to it. However, it does not appear on the, uh, the radar or anything. Sure. So, um... Would you like to take the vulture out and we can go hunting? Yeah, sounds good. You know, I was thinking uh, with the design of the vulture that you might uh, want to try. Um, you could make it more symmetrical by putting one of those big guns towards the front on either side of the cockpit. You know, and you just slightly angle the ship uh, depending on which one we're using. Yeah, it was just a test to see... Um how it would work and so on and so forth. Figure out the whole dual cockpit stuff, mainly. But um, I still want to do a full retrofit of the, the ship. Cool. So, um, do you want me to gun or fly? Yeah, you're going to be the gunner today. Since I know where it is, it's best if I fly. However, should we switch from HE to AP? I would think that would be a good idea. Do we have some in storage? Um, I don't think so. We only had 12 rounds of the uh, HE left, so I'm going to go ahead and just... I did 30, I think, of the last one. I'll sit in the cockpit here and check the systems are working. The yeah, go ahead and customize everything up, make sure. We should uh, put an antenna on that thing too. Oh, and a camera on the front too. second one I placed is better really because it's in the middle uh, but I placed one slot on to the right of the gun as well. Cameras I mean. Copy that. So the uh, issue that I've been having and the reason why I didn't put two up in the front was that I've been having to manually load the weapon. I don't know why it's not connecting through the connecting system but um, it may just be too many con conveyor connectors. I, I wonder know. if you have to have both connectors. Do you want to try just to I get did. one more conveyor? I had them both. So that the back, that one there. It was a uh, T-shaped. If you uh, if you look on the left side, I had it T-shaped up there because I was going to do gats up there, and then I realized that I could do this. We went through that whole test session. Yeah, yeah, sure. And uh, it wasn't loading ammo from the yeah. uh, cargo system. But I'm just thinking that so a way to fix it might be. I just... Unless maybe it has to be tubed, do you think? Well, I'm just thinking that maybe both of the conveyors need to be covered for it to work. I, I, you know, maybe it's a quirk, so I thought yeah, you'd I'd put in a small conveyor there. 
might be able to see if that works. I'm gonna try a conveyor tube and see if maybe that fixes. Yeah. And I need an interior plate. I'll be right back. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get one of the um, elite rifles and some ammo. Would you like me to bring up anything for you? Um, I think I've got one of the Star Wars. I've got the West Star Blaster, and I've also got an elite rifle. Okay, I'm gonna um, look and see if I can find some ammo and stuff, and then we should pretty much be good to go. Yeah, just ammo. That's probably. Oh, I'm. Um, I'm gonna dump the. Um, the AP shells and the HE shells inside the cockpits, and we'll see if we can move them in when we get in. Yeah, sure. There's a whole bunch of clips in cryo chamber too, if you want to grab some. Oh, I'm glad you did that. Oh, you did. For a second there it all looked black, I thought you might have uh, changed the colour scheme. Yes, yeah, sorry, I was uh, changing my graphics. For some reason, all the blocks were, uh, weren't were loading in properly. I had to uh, up it a little. I have the post-processing on and the graphics set to high at the moment, so everything looks very, very nice. But a little bit, uh, sort of, um, you know, more like a human eye. So when you walk out of the dark room into the bright area, it uh, flares out, it's hard to see. Yeah, it's been doing that no matter what my graphics have been, so I don't know if that's post-processing or something else. Yeah, it may have been incorporated into more general settings. So I'll jump in the gunner seat. You should make yourself a shiny Star Wars gun, if you like it. I think you have control. Yeah, I just realized I'm in the wrong seat. Is that right? Nope, still in control. I think we have to switch this one to main, hold on. And I think you probably need to get in first. It might be whoever gets in first. There, that should fix it. Excellent. I'm getting a this is not a main cockpit, so that should be right. So, um, if you'll go ahead and press your inventory tab, you have the rounds in there, and it should have already taken them into the gun. But you can try loading them up if you want. It should say 300 millimeter front cannon, is what I named it.
No, it won't let me load it. And that's the issue I was talking about earlier. Mm. So uh, that's why I had that one side open. Yeah, good idea. Uh, so I'll get out and grind it off if you like and uh, manually load it. Okay. Alright boss, I'm ready to go. Copy that rubber ducky. I'm gonna try and scope out and see. I'm gonna take care of, um, you have the cannon, right? You should be able to zoom in. So I'm gonna take control of one of the cameras and uh, see if I can spot anything. Cool, I'm just tweaking the settings of it uh, because it's switched off and I'm worried if I switch it on, it's gonna start shooting. So no, actually there's nothing in range, is there? If you uh, turn the shoot switch off, it shouldn't fire when you turn it on. I see it. Dead ahead. I'm looking, but I haven't spotted it yet. The camera's all sorted out, though, on the gun. So I should spot it as we get closer. I'm just probably blind. I mean, I see one that's I'll move got an it. antenna, but uh, we own. Send a bit so you can. Oh, lag spike. Yeah, I gotta change my uh, my setting for my tree and floral stuff. Hold on. I just want to go into the uh, settings here and just make sure that I'm not. Um, I keep getting the. No, this is not a main cockpit message, so it looks like it's. I'm still trying to control the chip. And I think I can switch that off. That's weird. It is odd, it won't let me uh, switch them off. I shouldn't be actually controlling them at all. What's the matter anyway, mate? Yeah. Um, I turned my floral density to zero. And then maxed out the ranges on both the grass uh, view range and the tree view range, and everything's gone. And my CPU load dropped to 40% now, so um, I think I'm golden. That's interesting, because I still see trees and stuff. Yeah, I think I turned the uh, turned them off when I turned the floral density to zero.
Yeah, I edited the sandbox SVC file before we started today to reduce file density to zero and actually to disable it uh, as much as that means in that set in the settings in that file. So I don't know if that's had an effect as well. I don't know. Space engineers, logic, you know. So I'm aiming dead at it, so if you can take control of camera oh, I two, I think it is. No, I spotted it. Alright. So it looks like we have a gat on the right and an interior on the end on both sides. Gat on the left. And an interior on. on both ends. The cannon has exactly 800, so uh, you see that gap? Actually, I think it has 8, 810 or 815 because I was hitting them from pretty far away. Well, that's weird. All my trees just loaded in. was a little bit of a lag spike then. Maybe it was taking time to load everything in all at once, I don't know. Do you want me to take a test shot anyway, see if we're in range? Yeah, can you see that turret on the right? The, uh, the gat on the right? Yeah, I don't have as good a shot at it as I do at the ones on the left. Well, I just want to see if we have the range. If we don't have the range, I don't want to shoot at the other ones unless we have to. No, we're definitely out of range. That one seemed to be AG as well. I think it might have been still in the breach. So you're back, you have to help YP. I took a shot and it fell short, so... Sorry about that. She was struggling to bring up a uh, basket to close up the stairs and I wanted oh, her no, to fall. Oh no, fair enough, mate. That's fine. Real life does take precedence. Alright, I'm going to move in gently. Um, I can see that turret on the left side looking at us, so I don't know if you should take a shot at it or not. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Um, I'll hold still. Just hold steady. I can't tell. Is that a good hit? Oh, we got particles and no, stuff, but it might like have been the shell self-destructing. I don't think there's any damage there. I don't see any smoke or, you know, uh, any other damage around it. Alright, I'm gonna move this in just a little bit. I don't want to get too close if we can help it. Should be good. No, I think we're still out of range. Alright, I'm gonna move this in quite a bit and then we'll see. Something shooting. Who knows? Out. It might be out of power. Was that gat on the right? 
got the one on the left. It's down? No, there's, there was one uh, actually right. behind the one we were shooting at, which was weird. Hang on, just to hold steady. I also got... I also got an interior turret on the bottom of the um, walkway. Yeah, and if on the see, left as you well. You see the stairs going up? Yeah. Myth. A little bit to the left. Good hit. Target's down. I'm gonna rotate left. No, no, I can see. I can see another target. Don't move, please. Copy that. There's an internal turret there. I see it. I think you're just out of range. Yeah, you're right. I'm not now. Try now. This is a tiny bit too. Yeah, All right, um, I'm gonna, it's a tricky one. Let's rotate. For I'm that gonna one. have to move. Yeah, we're taking fire. Take a shot. To your right. It's got a really long reload time, as you know. It's just going straight through. It's not touching. I'm backing this out. We're, we're turning. Yeah, pull back, pull back. It doesn't. It's weird. It won't. It's like the shots are passing straight through it. It's decimating the stuff. Yeah, on that the was the problem side. I was having. Well, it makes no sense. I'm going to bring us down a little bit so we can get a, uh, a clear shot at it. I'm sure, yeah, some of those shots should have, you know, should have destroyed it totally. Okay, we're pointed dead on at it. Oh, finally. Alright. I see one on the end of the um, that black section sticking out on the left. Right there, there should be one on the end of that too. Yeah, I, I'm having trouble spotting anything. I don't. Just see take a one. shot and see if you can knock out that tip. Yeah, out of range. Yeah, you got it. It's gone. Okay, so we got one more interior turret on the opposite side, I think. Where the one was above the connector on this side. Yep. I'm going to move us in a little bit and rotate left. Let me know when you're stopping so they give me a shot. Yeah, I'm using the camera to try and get a, a sight on it, but I don't see it yet, so um, just give me a second. I did do some dim damage in the two parts. Found it! Oh, okay, found yeah. Hold. We're taking fire. Too much fire. Pull back, Shields pull are back. Back not up. 
I was doing both, sorry. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's just that we'll move faster back. Than up. Yeah, I was trying to follow where the, uh, the shells were going and try to avoid it. Yeah, no, you did a good job. Yeah, no, I, I was... It takes so long to reload that I, you know, I was probably just about to be able to take another shot, but we had to back off. So I think we need to move in, take a shot, and then back off, because otherwise it's going to chew through the shields. You see that uh, green arrow on it? Yeah, I do. I mean, I would love to have taken a shot at it, but the, it hadn't reloaded. I'm thinking if we can just hit that block, it'd be done. Once it falls off yeah, the block, it's pretty do. much dead, right? Okay, we're gonna move in. You ready? Yep. I'll keep her steady. Hit. Yep, he's gone. Good hit. I think it's it's ours. Let's uh just rotate around to the left and uh, make sure that there isn't any hit nasties that we missed. The only thing I can imagine that would be left is something inside. You're probably right. Oh well, let's land and have a look. You want me to uh, get real close to the uh, front there so we can see into uh, the cockpit and see if there's a uh, We've got hand command weapons. center? We'll take it easy. Alright, I'm gonna move us no, up. No, don't move us too close because they could be a warhead. We don't want it that close. Let's, let's not get silly. This is probably. No, I'm not going to get that close. I was just a bit worried there for a moment. Whoops. Don't worry, Captain. I'll scratch it. I'll, uh, that scratch will buff out later. Uh, yeah, that, don't worry about it. Don't worry, it's, it's fine. I'm gonna change my uh, my graphics again. It's, I'm still fighting with the trees. Ah, they're gone now. Got rid of them. Never mind, they're back. They're physical objects in the world, I don't think there's any way you can get rid of them. You can't Besides blame a guy for trying. I mean, considering what the other base was, with the HE rounds on the other base, this is a lot better. More surgical. Yeah. So I found the door here. I'm going to weld up these blocks so we can get in. I found a turret. It's uh, tucked in there. Yeah, I found a turret. It's um, tucked in. Like, uh, don't move to your left at all, if you can hear me.
Uh, let's see. No, I think I, I remember where it is. Uh, it's sort of on the way to the mountain. If I get if I get lost, I'll I'll uh, contact you. I'm just getting some weird effects with I got some floating trees here um, where the hill should be. If the hill is missing. And the lake is looking pretty strange too, I have to say. It's like the whole landscape has changed. I'm picking up your uh, antenna as well, it looks like. I'm here. Were you able to grab my stuff? Or? Yeah, it's in the, uh, it's in your cockpit of the oh, uh, thanks, vulture. So, uh, I'm having a weird effect up here. If I try to enter this the area behind the uh, cockpit, I get hurt. Well, that's interesting. I'm coming up. seem to be okay here. I don't know, maybe it was something that was, uh, was jagged or something. I must have fixed it when I was welding. So, uh, more stuff to be ground away? Look inside that cargo container. Yeah, I did. Yeah, some good stuff. I'm just wondering how we're going to get it to base. That was all. I mean, I could certainly build a weld a grinding ship, um, just like the one that I've got for welding at the moment. Just make a little trip out here and just grind them all down. Bolo, we'll have to go and see. I don't see any. Uh... I don't see any boom blocks, so I'm guessing this is uh, it. We could um, we could put everything in the vulture. It may take a couple of trips to get it into the vulture, but uh, it has cargo space. I just think it would be more efficient to, to make a small ship specifically for grinding down this one and all the other ones as well that we've uh, taken over but aren't going to use. 
Yeah, I agree. Um, rather than trying to, you know, do it by hand. And we'd still have to come back to grind down the buildings and stuff, so we might as well do it all in one go. True that. That said, I think we probably better go have a look at uh, Bolo and see how it's going uh, grinding down that one that we parked it next to yesterday. See if he's um, actually done it sure. the way we hope. Can you grab a uh, GPS? Well, that's odd. It should be on. You should be able to see it. Or maybe it is a GPS. No, no, it's the antenna. Follow oh, I mean for this base. Oh, sure. Yeah, of course. Sorry. No. <laughs> Darth Taxi Services. Thanks for that. Ready? Ready to go. Um, I can't see the bolo. Um, Weird. let's RTB and slap a uh, antenna on this. That well, might I mean, be my problem because I can see it. I think so it's because you built it. Okay, well, give me a moment. Um, and I will uh, give you GPS. Copy that. there's no way I can do it. Um, I'll have to actually fly out there. Maybe we should swap seats and I can fly us to it. Sure. Do you want to jump out here? Or? Yeah. Ready to go? Yes, sir. I guess if I put um, Space Engineers on the SSD, it would uh, probably work a little bit faster, but um, I think my SSD would wear out really quickly. Might be worth it. I think, um, I think if they can make it to where we can turn trees on and off, without having to try and tweak files that we probably shouldn't mess with, but I think everything will be good after that. Yeah. I found a post about someone doing what I did and converting it to a dedicated server and trying to change the setting and then changing it back to single player. 
didn't seem to work for them though. Maybe I didn't do it quite right. Who knows, that stuff is always way over my head, so I don't mess with none of it. Man, this was really far out here. Yeah, um, they were ranging out to about 15 k's from those. Oh, as soon as we got within 3k, I could see them. can't tell for sure, but it looks like he's grinded down a lot. I think it's just an empty shell now. I'll land. I am seeing big flashes of light, but I'm also seeing some really weird uh, effects on the ground and stuff being glitched out. Like big chunks of the ground, like there's like a big crater that uh, shouldn't be here. I mean, it seems to be still working. I guess the file hasn't been running that long because uh, you know we think of it oh we left it here ages ago but in game time it's, it hasn't been that long Yeah, I'm just uh, having a look at this. This, uh, sorry to repeat myself. This glitching that's occurring, so that uh, the the devs watch this. I oh, should report it really. Oh, and we're losing Darth as well. Definitely gonna need to reboot here.
Well, things seem to be totally balked. Crashing into the invisible ground, etc. Um, I think I'm going to have to try and reload. I um, might talk to you guys tomorrow. Obviously, we're going to have to do a bit of fiddling and find out what's going wrong here. And uh, That doesn't always make good, great entertainment, unfortunately. So, um, see you in tomorrow's video.